What's up everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Today we're going to be doing an update on my green tree monitors, Sabzi the female and Basil my male. If you enjoy watching videos about specialty pets, such as green tree monitors and different kinds of amphibians and reptiles, where are you gonna go? <laughs> oh my gosh. Definitely consider subscribing down below and then dinging the notification bell afterwards so that you don't miss any videos. Clearly, Sabzi wants you to subscribe. Let's get right into today's video. For today's question of the day, I want to ask you guys, do you have an animal that you can interact with as much as this girl? Ah, Sabzi. Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll give you a comment, a heart, and we'll engage in a bit of a conversation. Maybe Sabzi will do some of the typing, because knowing her, she'll be jumping on the keyboard next. Isn't that right? This girl is a very curious animal. She loves exploring and climbing and checking things out. She'll like hang out on my desk while I'm working. She just loves it. All the senses and things, taking it all in. So guys, Sabzi's doing really well. As you can see, she's healthy, alert, and I don't know if you'll believe this, but Sabzi has actually grown a few inches since December. Um, a lot of that is tail, but she's a lot larger than she was before. So it's really exciting to see that she's putting on more weight. So when I went to purchase basil at Brandon's Canadian Cold Blood, we discussed diet and how often the animal should be eating. And I realized that maybe I was not necessarily underfeeding Sabzi, but could be feeding her more. I was really concerned about her not being overweight, and Brandon assured me that it's very hard to make a growing monitor become overweight when you're feeding them a healthy diet full of invertebrates and such. So I started feeding her more regularly, and I give her way more crickets at a time. I used to give her about one to two dozen crickets every two to three days, and now I'm feeding her every other day consistently, and she gets like, 20 to 30, maybe 40 half inch to three quarter inch crickets. And she just dummies them, like she eats them so fast. It's actually crazy. So yeah, she's growing now. Sabzi is an incredibly curious monitor. It's one of the things I appreciate so much about her is all the work that's gone into keeping her. I've been able to get this animal just so chill and uh, relaxed and just wanting to explore and it's just, so rewarding to have an animal like this. Hey, okay. Hi. Hello. <laughs> it's always funny to see how she reacts to me filming her. She's always wanting to check things out. Yeah. Sabsy, up here. Come here. No, 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 no. You're not going up my pant leg. Come up. Sabsy. Yeah, now she's climbing on top of the phone. See, she's just incredibly comfortable interacting with me, being handled. We're at a point where I don't have to work too hard on this anymore because it's just there. Like, the relationship is there. The animal recognizes me. The animal's comfortable with me. It's, it's done, the work. I mean, it's something you have to maintain by all means and uh, work on, but yeah, like she's just a very happy, comfortable, healthy tree monitor. She's about to jump on my phone by the looks of it. Yeah, hey girl. Hi Sabzi. And you gotta love that tail, of course. A few of you guys have asked me how those toes of hers are doing. Well, you can kind of see them there. Um, they're completely, hey, get off the phone. <laughs> They're completely fine, they've healed. It's just that they don't have nail beds and the scalation there is kind of gray. I don't suspect that she'll be growing nails back on those feet, but yeah, they're, they're healed, she's fine now. To this day, neither my vet, Dr. Brown, or I have any idea what happened. It's possible somehow she pinched them somewhere, but even then we don't know where, and it's really stressful in a sense because I'd love to make sure that something like that were never to happen again. Knock on wood, I don't think it's going to. But yeah, so there's Sabzi. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and feed her. I'm gonna give her a bunch of crickets. We are going to dust them in Earth Pro A today and see what she does.
Hey, what's up here? <laughs> oh, she's funny. Good girl. Now I know this isn't a silkworm video, but she's a good girl. So we're gonna go ahead and stick to Go ahead, girl. Yeah, look how curious she is. She loves the bird nest. Go ahead. Just gonna check that out. We're gonna go ahead and put a few silkworms inside so that she can pick them out. But she really enjoys this bird nest. She's always checking it out. Hey? Hey, Sabzi, you like the bird nest, huh? What's in there? Is there anything in there yet? There is not, not yet. But there will be in a second. A few silkworms, but unfortunately they're really tiny. But nonetheless, I think she'll appreciate them. So we'll put them in the bird's nest and see what she makes of it. Are you gonna come back around, Sabzi? Hey, come here, look what's in there. Oh, she got a cricket. <laughs> Checking it out. Are you are you proud right there? Look at you. that they can do that and then spin around so fast to get back on track where'd it go Are you gonna find it? one of the reasons why i put the leaf litter in is to kind of stimulate that natural behavior of foraging for their food so you know if the crickets are under there they can look for them it's just an extra form of stimulation. I think it's really important to do that for them. All right, Sabzi, can you come up here? I wanna show you something. Come here. Go in here, believe me, you wanna be inside this. You definitely wanna check out what's in there. Yeah, look what's in there. Oh, look in there. oh. What's in there? Oh, 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 what's in there?
What's that? Your favorite. It's small, but it still counts. No need to make a mess out of that, okay? It's really tiny. Please. Sabzi, enjoy your lunch. See you later. And don't forget about the silkworms still in there. I'm sure you'll get them later. You may not know that Basil actually lives in my bedroom. I decided to move him in here, uh, not only because I just felt like the reptile room was going to get way too hot and there isn't a lot of space to add this enclosure, but also because I was hoping that, as weird as it might seem, me being here every morning, waking up, and him being out basking might be a way to kind of speed up the training. I can now confirm that it definitely is not. He's still pretty shy, but we're making some progress. The other day I did some handling with him. However, at the sacrifice of my hands, lots of scratches, because if he resists it all, that's kind of what happens, but we did get pretty good. So I'd really like to try opening the enclosure. He looks like he's gonna bolt. You're okay, buddy. Hey, buddy. You want this? Sometimes, to be so patient with him. And lately, he has not really been interested in accepting food from me. Anyhow, because I obviously don't want to stress him, what I figured we could do is the usual, whenever I show him eating, because he's shy, I will toss a bunch of crickets into the enclosure, and then we'll go a bit wider, and it'll be a time lapse, hopefully, of him chasing some crickets around so you can see him eat and do that. Someone is a little bit shy, but I'm sure that in an hour or so he'll eat. He's pooping a lot and the crickets disappear. So I guess he's just taking his time about when he wants to be eating. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sort of mini update. Obviously, Sabzi was the star of the show for this just because she's that much tamer than Basil still. But I'm sure Basil will come around in no time. Hey, girl, are you going to jump to the camera again? Yep. <laughs> Alright guys, have an awesome week and if you want to see more content pertaining to keeping tree monitors Check out the link up above and don't forget that if you'd like to support this channel further buy Sabzi some tasty snacks You can check out my patreon link down below as well as my merch store. You're gonna give us another jump or are you done? I think she's done. Alright, bye guys